Duffin Presbyterian Church. We are so blessed that you were with us this morning, and we are looking forward to a wonderful session together. So let's greet each other this morning with our L's. The Lord be with you and also with you. And today we are going to be working with a story from Lent. And we are delighted to have our friend Zacchaeus with us today in our story. So let's see if we can sing Be Still and Know and get our bodies still and quiet. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Today we are on our journey and we are all ready with our purple cloth for the season of Lent. And we are going to be traveling on the road to Jerusalem. And we have to ask ourselves, who is going to show us the way to Jerusalem? When we traveled to Bethlehem, the prophet Isaiah showed us the way. But as we travel to Jerusalem, Jesus will show us the way. This time, as Jesus travels, he will be traveling through Jericho. And the people of God travel this road once a year for the feast of the Passover. They remember when God parted the waters for them for freedom. The crowds begin to form. Many people came to the festival. And as they were lined up on the streets, there was a gentleman called Zacchaeus. Now, Zacchaeus was a tax collector. And the people didn't like Zacchaeus at all because he took their money. He charged them too much money. He was a very rich man. But when Zacchaeus came down, he was so short and so small that he couldn't see over the people. And they would even scoot in closer so that Zacchaeus could not see at all. So Zacchaeus went over and he climbed up into the sycamore tree. Now Zacchaeus could see So when Jesus came down, the people were all lined up, crowds gathered to see him. But Z he turned when he saw Zacchaeus. And he said, Zacchaeus, come down from that tree. You are going home with me today. 
And Zacchaeus was so excited. He was so happy. He could not believe that Jesus had called for him to come down and that he was coming home. Jesus was coming home with Zacchaeus. Well, the crowd was angry. Why is Zacchaeus going home with Jesus? Zacchaeus is a very rich man, but he's not a very good person because he stole so much money from everybody when he collected the taxes. But as Jesus and Zacchaeus talked, Zacchaeus told Jesus, he said, I will sell everything that I have and give half of it to the poor. And anybody that I have taken money from that I shouldn't have, I will pay back four times as much. And Jesus said, Zacchaeus, you are saved because you were right with God and you were right with people. And Jesus said, I have come to find the lost. And he and Zacchaeus traveled on. So Jesus came to find the lost and to save those that are lost. Now I wonder today how it feels to be short. I have a cousin Mary who was short and we often laugh about sometimes her feet don't touch the floor when she's sitting in a chair. And I wonder how Zacchaeus felt when he could finally see Jesus, when he was up high enough to see Jesus. I wonder why Jesus picked Zacchaeus to talk to. I wonder if all of the people that were there will be changed by what happened with Zacchaeus. We thank God for the story of Zacchaeus. So welcome back and we are looking at our room, our, our book called Making Room. This is a book that we have used during Lent. We have talked about making space, sharing our clothes with other people, taking time to talk with God, just to make that special time that we can be quiet and be thinking about the season of Lent. We are now in our one, two, three, fourth week, we only have two more Sundays until Easter. So today we're going to be looking at making room and look at all the people that came to see Jesus. So many people needed so many things. Sometimes Jesus got very tired but he never turned anyone away. His friends worried about him. They tried to help him rest. They shooed away the children and they tried to send the crowds home. But Jesus said, let them come. Everyone is welcome. 
The kingdom of God is like a great feast. All kinds of people will come to it from every place and every time. We have children, we have older folks, we have folks who are sick. Everybody is looking for Jesus to help them. Jesus kept inviting people in. Though what he said and what he did, he sent this message. We can always make the circle bigger. There is room for everybody around God's table. So during Lent, let's make room. We can invite a neighbor to our house to share our soup. We can make cards and decorate them and send them to people who are sad or sick or alone. We try hard to see people the way Jesus saw them. After church on Sunday, when we have juice and cookies, lots of friends stand together in circles. Sometimes there's a stranger that may stand alone on a wall. I wonder how we can make room for them. Maybe I could start by smiling and saying hello. I think Jesus would like that. And I have a card here I wanted to show you all. Actually, two cards. I had a birthday this week. And I received this beautiful card that one of the children at the YMCA in Pulaski drew. And I don't think I've ever received a card from the YMCA. But it says, Happy Birthday with all the packages. Happy birthday from your friends at the Y for a better us. Now we can all take time, and it may be something you would like to do in your work time, is to make cards to send to people that are sick or who are having a birthday, or maybe just are sad and need a quick pick-me-up. This is something very personal. I also have a friend that's my age, Miss Garda, Cox, and she makes all of her cards out of paper, and the way she folds them and puts them together is absolutely beautiful. So this is a happy birthday card with a flower on the front, and then she has put a star and a butterfly and a candle. May good times and great memories be the special gifts that fill your birthday with happiness. So these are things that I received this past week that were very special and meant a lot to me. So let's see if we can't do some of these types of things at home and uh, cheer somebody else up, okay? There's lots of ways that we can be of help. So today for our scripture, light our candle. We always light our Christ candle before we read. And today I just want to use this one passage that we read about what Jesus said because it's a very, very important passage. Let them come. Everyone is welcome. The kingdom of God is like a great feast. All kinds of people will come to it from every time and every place. Thanks be to God for his word for us today. And now the light that was in one time and one place can be with us in all times and all places. Okay, welcome back to our ending for children in worship. We have just lit another six candles in our wreath, in our journey to Jerusalem. And we have our figure of Jesus carrying the cross. 
and he of course is moving around as we add our candles and we want to remind all of you this week that in our journey we have these in the um, choir room and these are our fish for one great air of sharing and we drop coins in there and you all can pick up one in the, in the room in there and color it or decorate it any way you want to and then bring it back on Easter. And this offering goes to help those that are in need. So it's a very good way to take our change and make something, make a lot out of it, really. So let's have a closing prayer today. Heavenly Father, we're so grateful for this time that we have to spend together. And we ask that you will help us to take a little bit of each day and to give thanks for all the blessings that you have given us. For in Christ's name we pray. Amen. We hope you have a blessed week.